By the end of this video, you will either 100% agree with me or 100% disagree with me. There will be no in between and you will not be the exception. With that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and jumping into the video. Recently, if you don't play GTA Online or GTA at all, just to give you an idea, there are 722 vehicles in GTA Online. And recently, Rockstar decided to remove 186 at least of them in a recent patch with a Mercenaries update. Now, why am I bringing this up in relation to League of Legends and Jinx? For a while now, the community, or certain parts of the community, I would say, have kind of felt like there have been too many champions in League of Legends. We're talking about nearly, if not past 160 plus by the time this video comes out. Now, for a comparison, if there's 722 vehicles in GTA Online, and they went and removed about 186 of them, that's almost a fourth to a third of all the vehicles on there. My math is actually really terrible. It's why I'm not an engineer. Well, that being said, if we related that to League of Legends, for example, in addressing the secondary issue that we talked about of some people feeling there's way too many champions, it's oversaturated with champions, and that leads to balancing issues in some people's opinions, okay, cool. Now let's take about a third of that 160, roughly about 150 for just simplistic math so we can follow along very easily. And let's say 50 champions were removed from League of Legends. And even if you want to make it even more simplified, right? Let's say, you know, 10 champions per the five roles, you know, top, jungle, mid, bottom, and support, right? Well, first of all, AD carries only have what, like 20, maybe 25 champions that you would consider a quote unquote marksman. So like half the roster is gone but let's say jinx survives because she is popular and apparently rockstar's you know ideology behind removing those vehicles was not you know very often picked vehicles and stuff like that already refuted by the community mind you but let's just pretend we take rockstar at face value two things one Anytime you think Riot's really dropping the ball, just remember they're not Rockstar. There's a bug right now where you can have insured vehicles that might not be insured for some random reason. It might just, you know, be gone. You have to pay a bunch of money in game to get it back. Uh, that's that's wild. Do you imagine if they did that in League of Legends? Like you went to play Jinx and she was just like back in the store. You didn't own her anymore. You had to buy her again, either with RP or with Blue Essence. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. But furthermore, let's also look at the like landscape because meta wise, I think it would actually kind of interesting if the saturation of champions is playing into a problem of the game's balance. Because if there's only like 10 marksmen or 80 carries left after like half the roster is nuked, what you might see instead, instead of like certain 80 carries being like the must play, must pick champions, is more speciality right maybe jinx is one of the only surviving hyper carries so when you really need a hyper carry in your composition whether it's pro play or you know solo play or solo queue or normals a uh, jinx might be one of if not the only go-to champion for that so the way she's even balanced might be different because it's not going to be compared to other ad carries because that's not going to be an issue anymore about oh she's one of the best performing ad carries she's like the only hyper carry so maybe she has to be in a certain state versus let's say the lane boy like draven let's say makes it too because he's popular right uh but he's also more of a lane bully like basically we see more individuality for the ones remaining in certain roles because there might be like a sweeping pass that knocks a good chunk of them out especially if we talk about the underperforming ones right like granted tristana and like caitlin could also fit in the hyper carry aspect but like kogma's gone then kogma's always kogma tier he's he's, he's he's gone so there's no jugger ma anymore it's jugger jinx time and that's the question i'm going to pitch to you is do you think that if Riot was to remove about a third of the League of Legends roster, they followed the route of Rockstar, that the game would be more balanceable or less balanceable. Now here's the part where I say that you're going to either 100% agree with me or 100% disagree with me. Here we go. I'm going to actually say that the game would not be any more balanced than it would be with that ideology. I do not think that because there's so many champions, that's what's solely causing the main balance issues in League of Legends. I will say there is probably some overlap that I will give a little bit to of if you make too many champions that play similarly, then it makes older champions feel obsolete that maybe not have not been obsolete beforehand if they knew champions didn't exist that kind of did their job and then 17 other jobs also went to the grocery store also had a 401k and full dental that the older champion didn't have sure but i don't think that by itself at least is what's causing some of the balance issues that some people are complaining about so you're either gonna like i said agree with me or you're gonna disagree with me but i do think it would be interesting in that world even if champions weren't removed and maybe disabled uh, like a couple patches at a time to see if that individuality factor did play out but that's gonna be all of this video from me so thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell notification the actual subscribe button but i don't know which video will be next because i can have a lot of kinks so till this time take care 
GG it jinxed. Thank you for watching and enjoy pizza responsibly.